Tea's Corner and we have another book review. So this one is book four, which is Slaves of Socorro, which you would have seen right before I showed my face. But as always, we'll just dive right in. Um, factors this time around, language, uh, there's, you, you know, cursed, curses, curse, cursing. There's a lot of those words, but uh, no actual, like, word, word. Uh, except for damn, which is just one, and it's on page 389, if that's a word that you're like, my child should not hear that word. So, other factors are um, underage drinking, are Terzgud, which was the bully in uh, book one, He's kind of went downhill since he lost the brother band uh, championship and everything. So he has created a crew of like rugrats who are just terrible people. And they're all underage drinking, which uh, we find out Scandia is um, 21 and over. But if, you know, a younger aged child, teen, whatever you want to call them. I call them children because I'm old enough to say that. But uh, if they sneak just a drink, then, you know, they turn to a, turn a blind eye. But if you're going to get drunk, then it's frowned upon. So just keep that in your mind. Um, that's page 59. Uh, it's talking at one point they go to a haymaking festival and Thorne shows up with Hal's mom. And so Thorne is kind of leery because Hal is his girl, the you know, the captain of the ship, and he doesn't want any awkward feelings going out with his mom, which they're not really going out, but uh, Hal, you know, handles it like a gentleman and says, if you're walking out with my mom, it doesn't matter if it's hanky-panky or not, like, you have my blessing. And uh, Thorne is, you know, happy about that, but that's on page 73. It does say hanky-panky. Um, then another, uh, factor is there are some crazy deaths in this one. Mamel, which is our villain this go around, was crushed by a boulder, like, a, a catapult to take the boulder over, uh, wasn't weighted right and wasn't completely, like, the counterweight wasn't completely down where it should be. So the boulder comes up and it comes back down and crushes our villain. Um, which was a pretty cool way to kill your villain, but good job, John Flanagan. <laughs> um, something that isn't really a factor, but I thought it was interesting. Uh, he, John Flanagan, is very well versed in, like, some of our historic things, like our second name, our last name. Um, back in the day, you know, you had rope handle, handler or, you know, wheelwright. They made wheels, that kind of thing. So on page 147, it really gets into last names and how people earned their last names. Um, how his last name is Michaelson because he's Michael's son. Um, but there's some that are, you know, Will Wrights and they have their last name, which tells what they do, which I thought was really cool. Um, so quick overview. This is where, spoiler alert, if you want to read the book, sayonara um but quick overview Hal is 18 um it's been two years since the brother band competition the herons are bored with quick trips they've come back from uh defeating Savak and the raven and so now they are doing their normal like Arok says hey go down the coast and, you know, protect the traders doing this, that, and the other. So they're kind of like three days out at sea and then a week home and then three days again. And it's very boring for adventurous boys. So, um, Iraq sends them on a year long mission to Air Lewin, which if you've read the Ranger Apprentice, they have a treaty where they, uh, have a standing ship for King Duncan to use because Scandian ships, the wolf ships, are the fastest in the world at this point. Um, as far as, like, getting from point A to point B. So, uh, Hal and the Herons are uh, shipped on, going to Air Lewin. On their way, they find Terzgud has turned renegade and is pirating. And a Gaelican ship is 
about to go under and um, Terska had left the crew to die. So Hal realizes what's going on. So they're like, we need to go after Terskud. We have to go to Air Lewin. Um, but Terskud is heading in the same direction since they're both going west. So they're hoping that they find him. Um, they get to Air Lewin at Crest Haven Bay and start, you know, getting familiar with the Air Lewin coast because none of them have been there before except for Thorn and. He's like, yeah, I've been here before, but we raided, you know, in and out and gone. Um, so they start getting, you know, familiar with it. And then Gillen, who from Ranger Apprentice, if you know, is Halt's oldest apprentice um, and Will's mentor as well. Um, he shows up and says that the king wants to discuss a mission with the Heron and as they are getting ready to go to the castle the next morning, right before they get get up and get ready to go, um, there's banging on the door. And um, there was a wolf ship that stole 12 Erluans from on up the coast. Um, and it looks like they're going to the Sirocco slave market. Yes, I have this handwritten because I'm reading actual books, so I don't want to be on a computer all the day all day long um so the herons go after them and break them out of the slave pens with the help of gillen um and then at the end of the book we see a feast and we know that gillen has i said previously he you know came to talk to the herons about a mission that king duncan has so now it's been a month since they went at after the ship and getting getting the heirlooms back um so now they're heading toward the castle and that's where book five starts i'm about a quarter of the way through book five and it's really good so bear with me <laughs> i hope you enjoy